We can tell a fine story of how remember is a process of putting things back together, taking the separate parts and putting them back together. How all parts of a memory are essential constituents. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this one's going to be another quick hit, straight to the point. And um, this week at camp, uh, the brother Yashar, he had made mention uh, on the word remembrance and how the apostles had brought it out that the word remembrance means to bring back together you know so that was on my mind and um you know i thought a few scriptures and then i started digging you know to bring up a definition and uh this here is something i dug up on google and it says word remember two ways all right so i'm gonna skip all this and let's just get to the to the point uh, you see here it says re equals back slash again and it says member equals a part of an organized whole literally a limb all right so re means back member means whole all right which literally a limb you know a body part and you can also look this up um, in the etymology the word remember or remembrance you know or member you know, and it, it tells you body part. So it's bringing back, you know, the body parts together. So remember means to bring back together. Okay. You know, so with that being said, you know, the title of this video, all right, will be um, things we once knew, remembrance. All right. And um, the Lord is doing that. All right. Throughout the face of this earth. You know, he's waking up his people and it starts with the elect all right they're coming back all right to this truth they're coming back into the power in which they used to worship all right from the very beginning so i want to grab a few precepts it's not that many so this is going to be a quick hit and uh let's get to the first precept this is deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 7 it says remember the days of old consider the years of many generations Ask thou father, and he will show thee, thou elders, and they will tell thee. All right. So the importance, the important thing is to remember the days of old. You know, in this generation today, you know, through Esau and his system, you know, what he called his education, his vibration is to teach our people not to remember the, the old the old days. All right. Not to remember the days of old, the ancient times. Okay, he don't want you to remember uh, where you come from, even before Africa. All right, he only wants you to remember back to the time when you was in Africa. All right, he don't want you to remember before that. He don't want you to remember about 70 AD. All right, he don't want you to remember the Byzantine Empire when when we ruled Europe. He don't want you to remember when he was pushed into those Caucasus mountains for a thousand years. All right? He don't want you to remember that. You know, instead, he wants you to remember Christopher Columbus, so-called discovering America. All right? He wants you to remember 9-11. But then he don't want you to remember about hard bonded slavery, which we all had to endure and the rise and build, you know, build of what you call today America. You know, even though they make the movies but they don't want you to be talking about it, all right? They say, forget about the past, just forget about it, right? You know, and that's hypocrisy, man, at its finest. But anyway, this is Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Remember the days of old, meaning you gotta remember the days of old. And it says, consider the years of many generations. Ask thou father, and he will show thee, thou elders, and they will tell thee. So it's all about remembering, all right? The Lord is... uh bringing us back into the things we once knew we're remembering who we are he's bringing back together all right that bringing back together is um that third temple which is uh the house of david all right through the spirit 
You know, I'm thinking of uh, Ezekiel when the Lord uh, said he will blow his breath upon the dry bones. All right. And what did the bones do? They were brought back together. OK. So let's move on to the next preset. This is in the book of Second Peter, chapter three and one. It says the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by the way of remembrance. All right, by the way of bringing back together the things we once knew, all right, that we are the Hebrew Israelites, all right, that we are the sons of Jacob, okay, that we are the sons of the living power, which are the men, okay, the men of Israel. And you women, you are the daughters of Israel, but it starts with the men. So it says, this, this second epistle be loved. I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by the ways, by the way of remembrance. You know, and how is he stirring up the pure minds? Because it's the spirit. All right. Which that leads me to my next preset. This is uh, the book of John chapter six and uh, verse 63. It says, uh. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So stirring up our pure minds in the way of remembrance is the Lord quickening our spirits. All right. The spirit within us, because he says what? It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. Meaning the flesh that we in this shell, these chains of darkness. All right. This sinful flesh, it profiteth nothing. It goes back into the ground in which it was made. And this is why Apostle Paul so said we will be changed in the twinkle of an eye. You know, changed into that uncorruptible body. All right. But we will live forever. And we have fulfilled the scripture, Psalms 82 and 6, that ye are gods with a lowercase g, meaning lesser powers than Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai here on earth. So it says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And that's what wakes us up for those of the hopeful elect. All right. So, you know, that's basically the lesson. You know, uh, yeah, that's basically the lesson. You know, this is a quick hit straight to the point. Lord willing, I hope it's edifying. The word re remembrance, remember, all right. Re equals back slash again. Remember, a part of an organized whole, literally limb. And then if you read a little bit in this paragraph here where it says, we can tell a fine story of how remember is a process of putting things back together, taking the separate parts and putting them back together. How all parts of the memory are accentual constituents which really remember means to bring back together. And what is the Lord bringing back together? Yasha Allah, all right? He's bringing us back together as a nation, starting with the elect, all right? That's making me think about Psalms 83 because Esau wants to stop us from being a nation. No, Esau wants to dismember us while the Lord is uh, remembering us. Okay, which is bringing us back together. And as you can see here in the paragraph, it says, um, and with this equals a part and dismember as an apparent opposite, meaning to break down into consensual parts. So basically you could say E is dismember and the Lord is remember. So hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.